All right, everyone, Joe and Mike here from Build Assets Online. And in this short video, uh, if you watched our Blue Vine review, then you'll know that uh, one of the things that happened with us when we were with Blue Vine was that our account, our Blue Vine account got put on hold and we couldn't access our funds. And I actually Googled Blue Vine account. And I noticed that one of the things that Google auto completes is Blue Vine on hold. So I figured I would share exactly how we fixed it so that if you're experiencing this, um, you can hopefully fix it as well. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a short one, but you know, I, hopefully it'll be helpful to some people out there. So when I, when we experienced this, it was because their parent company bank corp needed some separate documents from us and they gave me an email to send the information, which is exactly what I did. But then I got a, re a reply from bank corp saying that we're all good. I think that was on a Thursday and was told that the account would be activated by Friday end of the day by customer support and nothing happened. So I was given a time frame and it wasn't reactivated. And then I was told on Monday that it was going to take seven to 10 business days to reactivate the account. So at this point, you know, we're kind of like not happy about this because we we had $80,000 in there or so, and we needed access to that money to pay our credit cards and to do business activities. So if you're a smaller business and you're experiencing this, I understand the pain you're going through. Like this could absolutely crush you if you cannot get access or, or use your bank account. So here's um, what what basically happened. Um, I, I don't have to recap our story anymore, but because you can go watch our other video if you want to learn more about that. But here's what you need to do. What I found was that the frontline customer service people, they have strung me along on numerous occasions. So they'll give me time frames and they'll say, like, oh, hey, we're going to send you an email by this time. And then they don't do it. And this was on a couple different occasions. It wasn't just with this. So they just don't seem that useful. When you talk to a frontline representative, they're always forwarding it to another member of the team and or someone else on their team. They don't seem to have good access to their team. So you need to talk to a manager and they're going to say, oh, let me see if anyone's available. And someone might not be available. But you have to basically not hang up with them until you get a manager and like be willing to wait for a manager to come. And there was a particular guy I worked with, I'll say his name, because um, he was the only one that was able to help me. I talked to a supervisor that couldn't help me at all. And then I talked to a manager named uh, Nolan, and he straightened out this problem in a number of hours. And he actually you know, followed up with me and, and called me. Um, so I think that's the main thing is that you need to speak with the top dogs. You cannot rely on the frontline customer service reps to solve this problem for you. And that's what was happening when I was reading a lot of the, the reviews as well online of other people that had experienced this. They were just relying on like, oh, Blue Vine said they were going to do this and then I never heard back. Those were kind of the stuff I, I think I was reading when I was seeing if other people were going through this. But um, it's just one of those situations where, you know, the bureaucracy is so strong that you need to, you need to get to the decision maker. And the people that can take action and do things. Um, and that's that's just what it is. So if you're experiencing this, do not, do not go another day without speaking with a manager. And Nolan is the person I talk to. Um, you know, I guess if you want to ask for him, maybe that'll help you as well. But do not get off the phone and, or do not go another day without speaking to a manager and getting someone that you can contact directly who is on your case. Yep. Seven to 10 yeah. business days to not be able to access your money is not acceptable for most people that are trying to live their lives or run a business. And so, uh, yeah, it, it's going to take some hours to push through, but it needs to be done if you want to access your money in under two weeks. Yeah. So um, let me know if this helped you guys. I really hope, uh, you know, if you're struggling with this, that I, I really sympathize with you actually because um, I went through this. And, um, you know, we, we were lucky that we had the funds to kind of take care of it, uh, you know, or like have a little bit of a cushion, but if you're going through this and that's not your situation, I really sympathize with you and, you know, leave a comment. Let us know if this helped. Let us know if it didn't help. Let us know your experience and, um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you. Appreciate your time and we'll see you in the Very next one.